I'm going to try out the hardness total on this hot kit here. As you can see. So I got out the directions. So first thing we got to choose is the sample volume and whether we need to dilute it or not. And first we got to go to the handy dandy chart and then choose the range we believe it's going to be and the amount of sample and whether we need to dilute it. And then this is for the calculation near the end. Now I have no idea what is in our water. I'm just going to say well, it will probably be between 40 and 160. So I took 25 mils of sample. It's in a graduated cylinder. So I'm going to go here to number one. So I selected my sample size and my EDTA cartridge, which was right here, under here. Cartridge 0 0.0800. Or a 0 0.800. And so since I'm doing this one, I'm doing the 0 0.080 cartridge, which is right here. Okay. So I got everything figured out. Now I've got to set up the titrator here. So, first thing you want to do is take this button on the side and move it all the way to the top. So the plunger is all the way up. Now since our are not used very often, you may want to play with it a little bit and make sure that spring works pretty good inside there. Next thing we do is slip on the cartridge. It seems kind of obvious how it slides in. Then we take it and we twist it so that it kind of locks in. So I twisted it and it's locked in. As you can see, it's kind of off a bit. Push the side button down towards the cartridge until it meets. So we look for the plunger going inside. Now we're going to remove the cap finally. And just kind of twist off. And then we put one of these on there. So we insert it in there about halfway up to about right there. Okay, you can sort of see that it's halfway on there. Next thing we, we do is tilt it upwards. And then we got to get rid of all the air in this tube. So what we're going to do is tilt it up, turn the delivery knob, which is this one right here, to eject the air. And then we're going to get a few drops of titrant out through the top there. So what I'm going to do is take this knob and turn it. So one thing I noticed on here is I turned it until I got a drop, and then it didn't have any drops anymore. So the tube was not filled all the way, so I kept turning and turning, and then I started getting drops consistently off the bottom. So the next thing you do is you're going to wipe the tip. So the twip tip is wiped. I'm going to take my water, add it to the flask. So we're already at step four right now on the page. Add two mils of hardness buffer, swirl and mix. So take a look at here. It has markings for 0 0.5 mils and one mil. So I need two of these dropper fulls.
Next, add the contents of one Manver 2 hardness indicator. I have one already open here. Okay, so we got that swirl to mix. We gotta take it, our titrator and make sure it's zero. We do that by turning this knob here. Okay, next we are going to turn this knob here to dispense drop by drop in there while we swirl the flask. Okay, it is blue. I took out the tip and now I gotta remove the titrator. Pull on this. 